Ladies and gentlemen, my name is James Scarcebrook, otherwise known as the Intrepid Wino, and it's time for another edition of Let's Taste. I popped into one of my new favourite wine shop, wine bars, uh, which is, uh, those kind of things are very common here in Melbourne, that Enoteca model, uh, Cult of the Vine, and picked up a bottle for lovely uh, sunny Saturday afternoons drinking. And a wine that caught my eye in the fridge was from a producer or from a, I guess the brand um, more accurately has been on my radar for a little while, um, partly because of the, where the, um, the owner, the winemaker comes from, um, the, as far as the pedigree, and uh, also because uh, you, they, he's using quite a few uh, alternative grape varieties. Uh, and this one in particular was of interest to me because uh, of his choice of name, I guess, the naming of the grape variety. So the brand is uh, Simao, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I believe it is the Portuguese version of Simon because it is made by Simon Colleen uh, of Stanton and Colleen family fame. Uh, so based in the Rutherglen, uh, which is in uh, north northwestern Victoria, but I understand that the wines are coming from different regions of Victoria. So the particular wine is the Uni Blanc. Now, if you're not familiar with the grape variety Uni Blanc, you may be surprised to know that it is pretty much the most planted grape variety in Europe because it is predominantly used for brandy, uh, particularly cognac uh, and armagnac. Uh, and with the global demand for uh, brandy and um, cognac and armagnac products, uh, particularly, you know, it's actually quite a global uh, product. Uh, they have to grow a lot of Uni Blanc. Now, the uh, grape variety itself doesn't really impart very much into brandy because uh, it's distilled and uh, you know often it's aged in barrels, so uh, you don't really see that much of the, the grape itself by the time it gets to that point. But Uni Blanc is also, uh, has other names, um, probably more famously for me is uh, Tribiano, the Italian grape variety and probably the most planted white variety in Italy. Um, it, it sort of has some competition between Trebbiano, Malvasia, um, Pinot Grigio is pretty widely planted, but you do find Trebbiano in a lot of different regions, um, uh, particularly in central Italy. And I was quite interested to know, and hopefully you can answer this, um, why Simon decided to label it as Uni Blanc uh, because in Australia uh, historically we had a very you know big brandy production in the past uh, less so now um, I guess you could argue that brandy is considered to be kind of an old-fashioned slightly daggy kind of um, spirit not cool like gin or, or vodka or, uh, or maybe even scotch so I'm very interested to see how he has um, produced, uh, you know, how the, the, the Uni Blanc is being expressed. Um, I, okay. So Glenn Rowan. So Glenn Rowan is um, famously, you know, where Ned Kelly was actually captured, um, but it is also one of the most historic areas for fortified wines. Uh, so it's possible that Uni Blanc might have been used for fortified wine production in the past. So, let's have a look. Uh, there's a little bit of colour here. Um, from what I understand, Uni Blanc and uh, Trebbiano are quite uh, low colour typically. Um, it you know, doesn't really have a lot of uh, colour in the juice. So, my assumption um, is that there's been a little bit of skin contact with this wine. There's some slightly exotic spiced fruits, um, some dried papaya, um, dried guava, dried peach, some apricot. 
Yeah, it's very interesting. Um, almost sort of a cinnamon kind of spice. Maybe even some five spice. Yeah, even a bit of sort of kind of dried passion fruit. Let's taste. Mm. The spicy kind of fleshy white um, and yellow fruits does come through on the palate. Um, it's, it's very interesting. It has a little bit of a bite. It's not um, as kind of uh, you know, kind of bitter almondy, like um, like I've seen some Italian skin contact white wines, um, but that kind of zestiness, that spiciness, I think is possibly coming from the skin contact. It's probably quite uh, a short skin contact maceration. Probably, maybe at most, the the fermentation period of maybe um, two weeks ma maximum. Um, It has some texture, it has some depth and personality. I think, um, again, from what I understand about when you blanc, uh, it's quite neutral when you just press it, you get very clean, very um, um, light uh, juice and, and white wine. So I think it's probably uh, a really interesting, very good decision to uh, introduce something like skin contact to just Add a little bit more personality to the wine uh, texture, um, uh, you know, a, a bit of bite to it, uh, as well as kind of bringing out a little bit more of the fruit character. So that really is a, a very interesting example. It is part of a new style of wine being made in Australia um, by uh, younger winemakers, typically who are being influenced by not only you know wines made in, in, in Europe and other parts of the world, uh, but also the, um, the, the, the evolving nature of um, cuisine and the, and the way we eat food. So um, this, excuse me, most definitely is, is a, a very food friendly wine. I do recommend it. You could have it with um, certain Asian foods. I think it would be great. Uh, Middle Eastern foods, I think this would be very good as well um, because I think it, the, the, the cinnamon and the other spices in there would pair very well with um, probably, yeah, Lebanese uh, and Middle Eastern food. So, uh, Simon, I, I, I very much enjoy this wine. I think it is a very, very good value for about $30. Uh, and I do recommend people go out and, and, and try some of the other similar wines as well. Thank you very much for watching this tasting. Uh, I do hope you enjoy it. If you did, uh, please hit that like button underneath and please give me uh, you know, some feedback, leave a comment um, and make sure you subscribe to the Intrepid Wino channel. Uh, I do believe you can buy the wine from Different Drop. So head to differentdrop.com forward slash Intrepid Wino and use that code Intrepid Wino when you purchase to get a discount. Uh, and head to simowines.com.au to find out more about these wines. But uh, until next time, cheers.